face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what's up, guys, and welcome to a very short update, of course, of, well, the news that has been trying to inspire, of course, on Serbi, and, of course, a Koro Koro leak, quote-unquote, basically. Now, of course, I want to capitalize on the news itself, but I actually want to share some thoughts while I still kind of feel I have the chance before the special demo comes out, which is on this Tuesday, which most likely will be data mining due to the considered size of the game itself, which means we are gonna get heavily spoiled. So this is probably one of the few times that I actually have the chance to share my thoughts on what, I, what I'm thinking, what I'm seeing, and what I want to happen. So with that said, of course, Grimer now introduced uh, with a new form should say that Grimer is like a prime suspect for a Pokemon that needs a considerable buff, so I'm really, really happy that Grimer got that. I'm really happy to see that it's very likely that Muck's gonna get, of course, the same treatment. It would be kind of weird to see Muck turning into regular poison, you know, done and done. But in all honesty, though, Alolan Grimer is, of course, now a poison dog type, so the third Pokemon that actually gets that typing as a fully evolved Mon, like I said, depending on <laughs> the Muck's evolution, hell, for all I care, might actually turn and not keep in dark typing, who knows. But at the moment, it's Drapion, Skunk Tank, and this one. So it's a very, very good typing. The issue with Muck and Grimer is, of course, that if they keep their, their kind of famous stats, then what or basically what they are, then it's not going to be as good. But um, due to it being a slow poison type, slow poison types tend to be regarded as one of the worst ones because they're very, very predictable po Pokemon overall. Uh, when it comes to, of course, the, um, the standards of the meta play, but having that said, um, Muck can become something else, and I'm I'm actually very very curious on what Game Freak has planned because clearly they can do what they see fit, so it's actually kind of cool. And of course, we see Meowth behind, which kind of the indication of that it's in the same area that you find Meowth, which had me thinking, and I'm probably gonna do a little bit of a snowballing here. But the only Alolan Pokemon they've showed so far seems to be early game Pokemons. Uh, I'm not saying that to try to invoke any, any big thoughts, but it's very clear that, um, you know, the likes of Sentru and Ninetales, or Sandslash and Ninetales, was, is probably a nice area, feels later in the game. Same indication with Marowak. But then after that, Pikachu, Grimer, Meow, Frisada all introduced, I do believe that they're going to be caught in the same kind of areas. And they're just concept Pokemon of this is what you can expect. And I love that idea. I really think that we really just scraped the, the top of the barrel here. I really, really believe that we're going to have a lot of Alolan Pokemon. It's going to be a vast variety of Pokemon. And I actually love that idea. Remember, it's going to be an area with um, the course of electric types. It's going to be a specific area with, um, with fire, obviously ice. So I think there are a lot of things there to play around with and I actually love that concept and one really has to hope for the best with that, that they, this is how we're going to invoke it. So there are going to be a lot more fire type Pokemon that haven't been fired before and a lot of ice types that probably wasn't ice before. Um, but of course that's just me speculating, but I really really believe that there's a reason to show in early game Pokemon and it's just because they really want everybody to of course get that feeling once the game comes out that there are, there are a lot of more Pokemon to expect here. Uh, having that said, there are two unconfirmed news here which both are kind of cool. Yangmo, which of course is the dragon type with the soundproof, um, seems to be a full evolution to a dragon fighting type with two evolution follow that up. Um, of course without pictures it's still unconfirmed but it seems like the semi-legendary or super legendary for this, um, for this area or this region is going to be something else uh, and that's a very interesting typing my friend Ellis of course mentioned that it's perfect coverage if it gets a steel type move outside of that now this one of course will be if that's if that's right it's going to be like hey dragon uh, a very very faulty kind of typing when it comes to it can't really necessarily deal with typing uh, a fairy bird with soundproof at least you can deal with the likes of pixelate hyper voice is kind of fine so it's very interesting and I really want to see how that mod transpire. Then, second news here was that, of course, um, Type Null, sorry about stalling that. Type Null is the name of it, because I actually started to look it up. Is it going to get an evolution, first of all, which is kind of scary, because it felt like a fully evolution already, but it's going to get um, a name of Shivari at the moment, probably not the English name for it, 
but the new ability is going to be called AR system. It's going to be based on which item it has. You're going to change its hyping, um, or that what's the feeling that we got at least, or something is going to change in some factor. Uh, you know, it could be the loss of translation, what happened with the specific items. But it sounds like Arceus, basically. And I just want to get at that. There really, really are an emphasis on Pokemon, you know, overcoming nature, but of course, the new Alolan Pokemon being something else than were previously. That also goes for that there are mechanic Pokemon in this game, which feels man-built. That it seems to be enforces on alchemy versus nature. And this is probably the concept of this region. And I actually like, I do believe this is a very adult kind of way of looking at this, um, this region, which makes the game all the more interesting. So, really, really like that idea. Uh, I'm very, very sure we're going to see a lot, lot more mons. Um, and definitely expecting like 100 to 150 new mons for sure. Since the way they've been showcasing news, it feels like we're just, like I said, scraped the bottom and just want to hype things up. And they're doing this really, really well. Now, having that said, on Tuesday, with the data mining, things are going to get a lot different. Uh, I hope we don't get spoiled for the hell out of it. But. It seems likely, that, like I said, the way the size of the game has been kind of showcased. Not going to promise anything, but it would not surprise me. But having that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of leak. And of course, there are more to come this day. So of course, check out Serpy every day because there are missing pages. Of course, of things that are unconfirmed, make sure to check it out. And if you want to see more videos like this, of course, in short, leave a like and stuff like that. You know, also appreciate that I kind of believe that this kind of Content is kind of toxic, but I really just want to get this out of my shoulder before it's too late and this video become irrelevant. So thank you so much for watching guys, and I see you in the next video. Until then, take care.